Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 with covert infiltration. So, we are doing Operation Dead Dragon to jailbreak a Colonel Rank Templar. There is a Berserker Omega in here, so I might want to save the Frost Bomb for that. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. A Advent Custodian Master, Mutant Destroyer. Alright, let's go. Right. I do have a Reaper this time around. Won't do a whole lot of damage because of the weapon. Well, unless it's with a remote start. That is good, regardless of the weapon. But it will be nice for scouting. So let's take a look around, shall we? We are going where exactly? Here. All right, we got some nice high ground. Oh yeah, I know what kind of map this is. Yep. I guess we can set up on the high ground over here. That should be fine. Off you go then. 16 enemies shouldn't be too bad. As long as I don't trigger like two thirds of them all at the same time. I would never do that. Clearly. Up oh, here we go. Mutant Destroyer Codex. All right. And uh, more friends behind them. I didn't quite catch the rest. Well, let's take a better look, shall we? Here, Elite Lancer, Black Ice Codex, Codex Mutant Destroyer. I suppose I could take care of that. I don't really have a good way to open from here. I guess Bob could take a shot. Understood. Okay, Bob could take a shot here. Maybe even Deadeye? Okay, 100% with Deadeye. That's at least 16 damage. I could kill the Elite Lancer with Deadeye. I could also kill the Codex, probably. Uh, who had the Disruptor Rifle again? Oh, did anyone have it? Oh yeah, I actually did not bring the Disruptor Rifle. Right. Yeah, I think that eye is actually going to be good here. I do have 15 turns, so I don't really have to rush. But since I have a clear shot, I can do granted 16 damage to the Elite Lancer. We'll hit the Elite Lancer, let's go. Bye bye. Check it. We've got our so now we got Mutant Destroyer, Black Ice Codex and the regular Codex. I can probably charge one of them. Most likely. Uh, not the Muton, probably. Obviously not the Muton, but I can kill the Black... Wait, no, it will blow up. Uh, we should kill the regular Codex. I could technically use a Reaper here. Uh, that would be pretty bad, though. Yeah, no, Reaper would be bad here. But if I charge the Codex, I should either kill the rest or give myself advanced teamwork to move out of there. And uh, yeah, his friend is Bob, and he already used his turn. Might be better to just teamwork Bob, or just take a normal shot from up here. Or maybe I can just deal with this using everyone else, and keep concealment. Not that it's needed as much when I got a Reaper. Right, anyway, how do I want to do this? I probably want to kill the Muton. Not sure what my chance to hit is going to be from up here. 74%. Well, I could try chain shot. It is a bit of a gamble, though. Oh, wait, no, I can just kill him straight up. Because I do have AP rounds on cookies. Yeah, that works, just don't miss. Got it. That's right. 
Okay, nice. Uh, the rest shouldn't really be a big problem. I might be able to kill one, but... It might be best to, to actually just let them do whatever they want. Let's check our chance to hit from over here. I'm not wasting run and gun for this. 73%. Right, if I miss, I'll do free damage with stock. But if I hit, I'll have 69% chance to crit. Uh, let's try that. There it is. Nice. Very nice. Yes, I see that one. Now I can kill the other codex with Ava. I don't think that's necessary though. Not really. And if I rush the codex, I will reveal a little bit of this area through the window. Which means it's possible I would trigger more enemies if I rushed the codex. So no, I'm not going to do that. I can still take a shot at it with Sting. Yeah, but that wouldn't really be good damage. I'm just going to let it use Sonic Bomb or something. We'll be moving out of here anyway. So just let it use Sonic Bomb, it's not a big deal. Alright, that's fine. Yep. That was very predictable. I still need to kill it, but that shouldn't really be a problem. I don't think so. I can grapple up here, which is maybe not a bad idea. Again, I don't want to trigger more right now, but I can grapple up here. Let's just go with that. Let's go, Bob. Okay, that's a nice high ground. I don't even need to use free reload. Just a normal reload and then take a shot. That is 100. It's not quite a guaranteed kill, but it's pretty close. Yep, it's a kill. Yes, you got it. So let's set up over here. Reload. And then we can move on. We still got 14 turns. Should be lots of time. Moving to position. We can scout ahead still. Okay, nothing that I can see over here. I might want to get out of here without revealing myself. Is there a door or just windows? I'm not seeing a door. Okay, okay. What the heck? There's no door, really. Okay, I guess I'll just go up here. <laughs> they forgot about the door. Reload, reload. Uh, Overwatch just in case. Probably not needed. But might as well. Okay. Now we can scout ahead. I assume this will reveal something. We still got 14 enemies. No? Okay, that's a bit weird. I bet they are already here, behind the truck. That's usually what happens. Like most of the time in a mission like this. That's exactly what happens. Yep. There's the custodian master. Right. We can also check out the hack. But I do not have fail safe on Taro. Sure thing. Right, so let's not trigger them just yet. I want to move closer. Hey, Bob. Right, uh, they might decide to move, I don't know. Uh, let's keep Bob up here. And we can get steady weapon up. And we'll move about as close as we can. I'm going. I will use Overwatch just in case Overwatch. they suddenly decide to move. Which they might, it's possible. 
I still have a lot of teamwork. We still have 13 turns. Yeah, they are actually moving. Well, hello there. Let's go. Do some decent damage, thanks. Oh yeah, that's a full group of Castorians. At least they don't have the exalted Grandmaster, dude. That one has a ton of health. But this is still a lot of damage that I'll have to do. Does Bob have a target? No, he does not. Really? Okay, that's a bit of an anxious. He can move one tile and have the Castorian Master in his line of sight. But he doesn't have him from where he's standing. It should still be 100% or close to it, but that's a little bit annoying nonetheless. Just a little bit. Okay, 98% with Deadeye. I think I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it. Let's go. Just don't you dare miss. Okay, good. And I could actually teamwork him and then take another shot. I would my lab, but it's not exactly safe. I think teamwork is just objectively better in this situation, especially since I still have precision shot. It's just objectively better. So that's 45% chance to crit. Let's see if we can get a crit here. And no crit, but yeah, Bob did a lot of damage on his own. I need 15 more on this fella. I can kill one of them. I definitely can't kill all three on this turn. I'm a little bit worried that I'll trigger something else if I move like here. But if I don't plan to use run and gun, I kind of have to move here. Okay, what about cookies? I could try Blazing Spear. Sure thing. This would be the perfect moment to use Blazing Spear. But I also got... No, Chain Shot is too low. Okay, let's use Blazing Spear, I think. And this one to destroy my cover, right? It is highlighted red. So maybe it will. I wouldn't want that to happen. Only 75% chance to hit this guy. That's a little bit low, but to be fair, they do have quite a bit of defense. Oh wait, I can skull mine them. Really? Uh, okay. Now you tell me. Yeah, I think I'll do that. 85% chance to basically kill him. And then I, I can teamwork myself to back up. Now, the downside of this plan is that I might trigger more enemies with this move. If I do... Who had the Mimic Beacon again? Somebody who already moved. I think. Uh, did I have a Mimic Beacon in this group? Oh yeah, right, Jeremy has the Mimic Beacon. So he can throw it if needed. I think we should do it. I think we should do it. This is basically 35 damage in one attack. That's basically what it is. Unless it fails, which it might. I hope not. Okay, what the heck, let's do it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Go, go, go. I think we got him. Great camera angle. Yep, we got him. Even if this fails, he's already dead. We got some intel. 19% was way too low. That was really good. I'm in. Okay, that's a lot of value from skull mining. A lot of value. Now I can teamwork myself, because I'm not staying here, as you might imagine. There is one more custodian, I think, behind the truck. Right, where can I move here? Into the building. Okay, off you go. Don't trigger more shit. Oh, come on! Okay, that's not good, because... 
Uh, that includes... Okay, no, hold on. I thought that there was a Berserker Omega in there for a moment. Alright, I'm obviously going to throw the Mimic Beacon. We can handle this, but that was a little bit unfortunate. Okay, here's the beacon. Now I can take a shot with Saitani. So I would have triggered them if I moved Saitani over here. And I was planning to do that anyway, because I don't want to use up Ren and Gun just yet, and he needs to have cover. So it's basically these two tiles. Uh, right, I still want to kill the Custodian Master, obviously. Just don't trigger even more shit. Yeah, we're fine. That Mutant Devastator looks pretty nasty. The Ballistarius is pretty dangerous as well, because he has a rocket launcher. And there was an update to this mod uh, that makes them, let's just say, less stupid. Not sure if I want to find out what exactly that means. So how about the rapid fire? on this guy. Yeah, let's try rapid fire. Okay, miss. One more. Got it. Well done. Okay, how many more actions do I have? I can still teamwork Bob. I might just do that, to be honest. And Ava is still concealed as well. I think I might actually do that. Does cookies have a chance to kill anything? Eh, well, no. Sort of. I could probably kill the elite trooper. Alright, let's teamwork Bob. I can probably kill one more enemy here. Free reload. We can definitely kill the trooper. Not sure about the Ballistarius. The Mimic Beacon should counter two out of three enemies here. Even if it's dead two mutants. It has 12 health. They can't do more than 10 damage in one shot. So it should be alright. Yeah, I think we'll just kill the trooper. Alright, let's just kill the trooper. Even if Bob doesn't, I can finish him off with stock. Yeah, Bob did. I definitely got that one. Okay, and now Cookies can just take a normal shot. 44% is not particularly high, but, I mean, might as well. Yep, okay, let's just shoot that guy. Very nice! That was a ton of damage. Right, and here comes the Custodian. Right. Okay, he was too far away to do much. These guys are very, very slow, but they hit like a truck if they get into your melee range. Now I definitely want to kill all three. This is still a lot of damage that I'll have to do. 35 health on the Custodian. Yeah, not sure about this. I can probably do it. Alright, I think I'll grab the load here. Okay, let's take the load and kill the Ballistarios. Superior hair trigger, nice. Okay, that is very nice. I will definitely use that. Alright, kill the Ballistarios. That's right. Now. The remote start is not going to be useful. Just checking. I'm not sure if I can kill them both. Maybe. I can utilize Ren and Gun here uh, for Killer Instinct. Not because I need the movement, but because it will give me a ton of crit damage. A uh, downside is I did use Rapid Fire earlier, so I will not have that available. Yeah, actually, it's not super useful against these two guys. It depends. I might actually flashbang the Devastator or something like that. Let's see if we can kill the Custodian. 
So if I can hit him with a chain shot, then I obviously will. It is a bit of a gamble. But let's go with a chain shot, I think. I could move up a little bit just to have cover. I don't want to move too far in this direction. Because I know uh, there's still a Berserker Omega out there. And I mean, 10 enemies remaining. So that's two pods at least. Okay, let's stand over here. Just to have cover against the Devastator. I need to hit this chain shot. Okay, nice. Good. First one didn't miss. Nice damage. We need 13 more. I wish I had a banish on the Jeremy, but alas, he does not have that yet. Well, we will kill the Castorian. I think I'll just flashbang the Devastator. We could try to stun him. I don't have the advanced uh, stun thrower or whatever it's called. Yeah, I don't have advanced arc thrower, so maybe I can stun the Devastator. No Let's check the chance to make that happen. Okay, 94%, so that should happen, unless I get really, really unlucky. That would be incredibly unlucky. It can still happen. Okay, if it does happen, I can use Flashbang with Ava. And Bob will shoot the Custodian. He just needs to move. Uh, yeah, that's a bit awkward. He will not have 100 from here because it's too close. And I can't get line of sight from this roof. I will have to move forward. Okay, Let's check the chance to hit from over here. Okay, 94%. Hopefully that's good enough. But I do have Frostbite. But I think I'll save it for later. Because I can definitely kill this guy unless I miss right now. Okay, yeah, he's dead. It's dead. It has to be dead. So now we can stun. Sleep tight. Oh, I should have checked if he's immune or something like that. No, he's not. Okay. And I'm still concealed here. Would be nice to spot the other dudes. Let's actually move forward a bit. See if we can spot the other enemies. Not here. Okay. Interesting. I guess I can shoot the Devastator. I am on the move. This will barely do any damage though. Like, it will do almost nothing. Yeah, I don't think that's really worth doing, but what else am I going to do? No, it's fine. Let's not do that. Not worth it for one damage. Still eight enemies, not counting this dude. We should also hug the door by now. So let's get that done. We'll do that last, after the Muton. So first shred him. Obviously. He has a lot of armor. That's five armor. Not even 100% chance to hit him right here. 98. Okay, that's 12 HP. Reload, because why not? And he's dead. Okay, well done. Now we can hug the door and get our friend out. And then we can check out that other hug and see what it is. Yeah, some granted intel is good enough. Got it. Is secure and we're on the move. I'm sure Taro is happy that he's actually doing some hacking. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> uh, Alright, Shadow. Let's find the other enemies. 
They have to be around here somewhere. Hello? Anyone home? I can literally just leave. Yeah, I can just leave after this. Anyone? Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, they are in here. There's the Berserker Omega. So inside the building and on the other side of the building. This is a lot of mutants. Also, this mission was supposed to have the lost. <laughs> yeah. But where are they? Maybe they got lost. On my way. Clearly. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just grab the VIP, the Templar, and just leave. Yep. Okay, there's no need to fight everything here. We can just leave. So that's what I'm going to do. Now Bob needs to leave this high ground, unfortunately. <laughs> as much as I like high ground, he can't stay there forever. Let's still steady weapon, just in case. Yeah, okay, they will see us now. Okay, I suppose that was going to happen. Well, I kept the frost bomb to deal with the berserker. I might not need it, but he does have 45 HP. That's a lot of HP. This is actually a pretty nasty pod. Oh no. Oh no, don't tell me they will see me. Stop! There's nothing interesting over here, clearly. You don't want to come here. No, they didn't see me. Yeah, okay, and reinforcements are coming. I'm not close enough to evac to leave. So, okay, this is going to be awkward. I don't like this. I really don't like this. I do have Dead Eye up. So at least I got that going for me. I mean, steady weapon, but Dead Eye too. Right, let's not shoot this pod by accident. That would be really bad. 85% with Dead Eye. That will kill him if I hit. Okay, let's go, Bob. Nice. Hair trigger, please. Or not. Oh yeah, what's the hack? Infiltrating access point. Uh, what's Blitz again? I think that's like run and gun, right? Uh, yeah, no, I don't want that. I mean, I want that, but I'm not wasting a turn to get it. That would be kind of useless. Uh, what now? So Saitani is the one with the frost bomb. I think what I'm going to do is actually ignore the berserker and stay outside of his range. Just let him run towards me on his next turn or whatever. Okay, let's move our Templar friend in this general direction a bit. I could stand over here, I could stand over here. Okay, let's go here, just to play it safe. He only has 5 HP. Now, I do have a Reaper. But if I use it right now, I will trigger the other pod. We should keep it for the next turn. So let's keep it for the next turn. I could flashbang, but I would need to stand somewhere where I'm close enough to flashbang, but far enough to not trigger the other mutants. Which is a little bit tricky. And I used up a teamwork already. I think this is too far away. This is fine in theory. But I'll get myself flanked and I will get revealed when I throw the flashbang. Might be best to just do nothing on this turn. Okay, oh, can I use remote start on anything useful? Probably not. No. How disappointing is that? That is very disappointing. I'm not really sure how I want to do this. I'm actually not sure. Who else had a flashbang again? Saitani. 
I think I'll just throw a flash bug. Seems doable. Yeah, I'm just going to throw a flash bug. Either the two mutants here. Will it hit them both? Yeah, I don't think it will hit the Decorion. Oh yeah, no, apparently it will. I don't totally trust this red highlight though. I would be better off just blowing up the wall. And I could do that in theory. With the Jeremy. Might be best to save the Claymore again for the next turn. I think it's best to save it for the next turn. Without cookies. Can he do anything? Yeah, positioning is kind of bad. I think he'll be better off with Overwatch. I can only get line of sight from like over here. I will not have cover over there. I think I'll just Overwatch. We can Overwatch from the high ground, that should be fine. Absolutely. I probably should have reloaded and then used Overwatch. But okay, let's use Overwatch from the high ground over here. And yeah, move away from the Berserker Omega. And again, probably Overwatch. Well, I don't want too much over... See, problem with Overwatch is that if Overwatch hits Berserker Omega, it will give him extra actions. So, but I don't want that to happen. Obviously, I don't want that to happen. That would be really, really bad. Maybe I can use that hack after all. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd have a line of sight to it from here. I have mixed feelings about using Overwatch like this. It could backfire really, really terribly. Yeah. Anyone with partial cover here? No. Well, cookies, actually. Let's just aid the protocol cookies. Yep. He's the only one here with partial cover. Not counting Jeremy, who's concealed. Okay, so I'm saving Claymore for the next turn. I could use Sting right now if I want to. Yeah, I suppose I can do that. That way I will stay in concealment. So we can show that it's Ballistarius from the flank. Anyway, let's use that flashbang, shall we? Yes, let's. So right here, we want to hit the both of the mutants. Yeah, this should hit them both. Don't lie to me right now, UI. It's highlighted red, it better get hit. I don't want a bullshit rocket in my face. Yep. He is disoriented. So it should be fine right now. Doesn't mean that they won't hit me. There is still a chance that they will, but hopefully not. But we'll have a lot of enemies on the next turn. It's going to get tricky. I suppose I might as well shoot him. It's not going to be good damage, but there's literally no downside. That I can see. Yeah, there's literally no downside. Just shoot him. And we do have 45% chance to crit. I'm not holding my breath, but... Yeah, there we go. It's not a ton of damage, but I'll take it. Uh, let's move a little bit closer here to have more options. And we will use Reaper on the next turn. With Reaper, I will hopefully be able to handle whatever comes at us. That's a lot of enemies in that pod. That is a lot of enemies. Alright, let's do some damage. Nice. Okay, very nice. That overwatch with high ground came in handy. So now we will use Frost Bomb against the Berserker. Because I won't be able to stay outside of his range. Oh yeah, actually, he moved close enough to hit Bob. Right. 
because they can attack after dashing. Okay. Uh, Bobby didn't take a lot of damage, but he is unconscious. I'm pinned down here. Yep, here comes the other pod. This is going to get tricky. And obviously Reaper has limited usefulness against mutants. The plan is to kill everything else. Oh yeah, now we are getting the lost. Right? Okay, it's time to use revival protocol. Obviously. Get up, Bob. I think he has a grapple up. I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> that berserker turned in his direction there. I could pop frostbite on the berserker here. What's the chance? Pretty low. But it won't cost me like the turn or anything like that. I guess there's no real downside to trying. None that I can see, at least. Uh, we can grapple to high ground first. So, over here. Or over here. I'm just checking all the line of sight. I will have a line of sight for the mutant on the left if I go here. And I won't miss out on anything else that I can see. Mutant Harrier. It's kind of hard to see from over here. Okay, no, this spot is good, right here. So let's grapple. Oh no, I can't grapple there. It would have to be here. And this is still okay. I won't have a line of sight to everything. But I don't need line of sight to everything. Yeah, no, this is fine. Alright, let's go, Bob. Just don't get yourself killed, because I don't think I can afford to heal you right now. So now we can frostbite the muton. I mean, the berserker omega. That's 85%. So frostbite his ass. There we go, he's frozen. And then... If I still need it, I can use the frost bomb on it on the next turn. Now we reload. Let's do this. I don't have jewel strike. Uh, wait, who's his friend again? Uh, why can I suddenly not see it here? <laughs> oh yeah, it's Ava, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, that might work. I was going to show that this mutant on the left, though. I need to really think about this. Good damage with Blazing Spear right now would be super useful. Uh, also, I can actually blow up the car right now with a remote start. Not only that, I could actually throw the claymore and then use remote start. Hey, can I get the Templar out of here? No. He's not close enough. Okay, I like that plan. Do I need to move anyone? I think I do. No, I don't. No, I actually don't. And we'll hit the shaman. We'll hit the shaman, the purifier and the berserker. Alright, let's go with that. So Claymore and then Remote Start. Uh, do I even need Claymore? And the Purifier will not die without that. I could Claymore like these two guys as well. Maybe not. Yeah, I can't quite reach uh, the Omega with the Claymore. But I won't be using Reaper on the Purifier if I can help it. That's obviously a bad idea. Unless you got Fortress, which Ava obviously does not. Okay, Claymore. That way the Purifier will die. Otherwise it would be 12 damage and he has 14 HP and free armor. So now we can remote start. 
That summer the mod start value. That is a lot of value. Let's go. Okay, good. I like big bombs. And I cannot lie. Oh, he still didn't die somehow. What? Really? How on earth did he not die? Apparently he didn't. Okay. Wait, did the claymore not actually blow up? No, I think it did. I don't know why he didn't die. We killed the Archon though. But this is still quite a few enemies. I think I'll need uh, one more flashbang. Fifty-five percent chance to crit. A crit will kill him, but there's no guarantee I will actually get a crit. Precision shot? That's eighty-five percent. I suppose I can try that. I'll be disappointed if this is not a crit. But it is eighty-five percent. All right, Bob. Let's do this. I need a crit, Bob. Let's make it happen. Got it. Well done, and we got her trigger. Perfect. Now I could dual strike something. I could kill the purifier actually, just normally, but I'm I'm leaning towards yeah using dual strike on the muton here. It does the run and gun muton, right? Yes. Yeah, let's go with that. That will hopefully kill him. Yep, got him. Got him. Okay, this is still a lot of enemies, but we're doing it slowly. Now, a uh, one muton has Overwatch. I don't think anyone here ignores Overwatch. As far as I'm aware, that's a no. Maybe I should heal myself here. That will be my last action if I do that. Bob does have full cover because he has a low profile, so he should be fine. Should. Doesn't mean he will. How do I deal with this stupid overwatch? Can cookies deal with it? Not really. I still have teamwork on cookies. What's the best way to use trench gun here? Good question. Probably from somewhere over here. Maybe like here. Right next to that muton. Oh yeah, I know what the best way is. The best way is to flank them like this and then trench gun both of these mutons right here from the flank, like this. That's the best way. I'm pretty sure that's the best way. I don't see a better use here. Okay, I actually do not see a better use here. And then I can teamwork Saitani and move him into safety. If there's such a thing. The only question is whether I want to get rid of this Overwatch before I dash in or not. His chance should be pretty low to hit me. I don't want to waste an action just to get rid of that Overwatch. I really don't. Yeah, I really don't want to do that. Oh yeah, and also, he's still disoriented, right? Not that guy. He should still be disoriented. Yeah, he's still disoriented. So he will have 20 aim penalty, then a penalty for Overwatch. He doesn't have any Overwatch abilities, right? Let me double check. No, he doesn't. Alright, let's just dash then. Run and gun. We'll go here. This should be like 30% or lower chance to get hit. Let's go. Yep, 23%. 
I didn't mean it will miss, but the chances of that hitting were pretty low. Okay, now trench gun, right here. That's pretty good, the trench gun. 135% chance to crit. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of crit. That's a lot of crit. Go, go, gadget, trench gun. Nice. <laughs> 25 crit and 22 crit. That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. So now teamwork, because I'm not staying here, as you might imagine. And cookies. Well, cookies can finish all the purifier, I suppose. Unless somebody else is going to do it. So, do I use Reaper now? Uh, maybe. So I can kill the Shield Bearer. Then we still have this Lancer on the left. I can kill the Shield Bearer, then the Lancer. I should be close enough. I'm pretty sure this... Yeah, this should be close enough. And then I could try this Lancer. Yeah. That might be doable. And after that... Well, here's one problem. If I want to use a flashbang, I won't really be able to do it. I might not need it. But we don't have Mutant Decorion and the Devastator. Alright, let's use a Reaper. I need this damage. So first Shield Bearer. Then Lancer. Then I think the other Lancer. However, there is an alternative. What I can do instead is kill the Lancer like this and my move in cover and then throw the flashbang. I think that's objectively better and safer. Because if I go in to kill the other heavy Lancer, <laughs> throwing flashbang after that will be really risky. Unless I can somehow kill him from this style. If I can kill him from this style, then I could throw the flashbang. But that's a big if. I guess I can try. Okay, let's try. So I'll end my move as close to here as possible. This should be in range. It should easily be in range. I might not have enough damage. Okay, that's a good question whether I have enough damage or not. I actually don't know. I yeah, I might not have enough damage. And I can't hit him with anyone else. I mean, that's not entirely true. No, it pretty much is. It pretty much is, yeah. Uh, Taro will have to kill the purifier. And that's probably what he'll do. Uh, yeah, or cookies can do that as well. I'm a little bit torn about this. I'm a bit torn about this. I can also try a stun. But the chance of that is pretty low. I can't see the Devastator from where I'm standing. Technically, I can throw that Frost Bomb at them. But the Frost Bomb is a hard counter against the Berserker Omega. If I throw the Frost Bomb, I will have to kill the Berserker Omega on the next turn. I should be able to, but that is 38 damage I have to do. Still, it is an option. It is an option. But it really, really has to die after this. Okay. There's a downside to every plan here, but I'm going to use that frost bomb. So we'll go kill the Lancer first. 
I think I need to like end my move here in the cover. Because I'm not 100% sure whether I will actually have the damage to kill this Lancer. I should be in range to attack him. I should be in range. Even if I end my move on this side. I'm about 99% sure I will be in range. Okay, let's go. Kill the Lancer. Then hopefully the other Lancer. Yep, we are in range, but do we have the damage? Okay, yeah, we do have the damage. Good. So kill him. So then I have two options. Frost bomb, like I said. Or I can still throw the flashbang, but the flashbang is much riskier. Because they would be able to just flank Ava, hit him with a reduced aim, but they can still hit him. I'll just throw that frost bomb. Oh wait, can I hit? No, I can't hit the Omega. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. The Devastator doesn't actually have a counter attack, right? Doesn't seem like it. Let me double check. It doesn't seem like he does. No, no, he doesn't. Not sure what this is. Seems like nothing. So I can actually hit the Devastator still. If I'm going to freeze him, then I might as well, right? It will ignore his armor. I hope I'm not going to regret using up this frost bomb. But all right, let's use the frost bomb. There you go. Now they are both frozen. Now it doesn't matter who I hit because they are frozen. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can also just take a shot. That will be objectively more damage. Uh, does he have AP rounds? Oh no, he doesn't. He has blue screen rounds. So this is not objectively more damage. A detonation shot would be good. That would shred their armor. Probably destroy the cover and such. So let's go with that. Okay, yep, let's go with that. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Uh, and he has a special grenade type that uh, gives him like several different status effects. So detonation shot against the Devastator is actually really, really good. Okay, we still have this Elite Purifier. Don't worry, I did not forget about him. We'll kill him. And then Cookies can shoot the Omega here. You know, because we still need to do a ton of damage to it. That was a pretty good turn. And we can just dash towards the exit with our Templar friend here. That was a really tricky turn, though. It was really tricky. I had to use basically everything I had at my disposal here to make it safe-ish. Yeah, now we get the lost. You guys are a little bit late. All right. Let's finish this. I might want to start moving. I assume I'll kill them all here. I guess I could just kill a few lost. Whole <laughs> one of them. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's get the Templar out of here first. No reason not to. Uh, Bob. Okay, that's quite a few lost right there. I kind of want to move. I really want to move. He has some more reloads as well. Let's kill the dashers. Yeah, there's a dasher. That will kill him. I got it, right? Yes, you got it. A free reload because I want to keep my actions. Yeah, that's a dasher. That's a normal lost. Yeah, there are a few dashers over here. We'll get rid of them. Save your crits for the other enemies. 
that would be appreciated. Okay, I still have one more free reload. It's dead. It has to be dead. Yes, it's dead, don't worry. Uh, these guys are too far away to be a threat. Oh yeah, I could go here, actually. Okay, that's good. That will allow me to keep high ground while also moving towards the evac. I like that. Alright, I need to make sure I will actually kill everything right now. I plan to kill everything. So let's shoot the decorion here with the bob. Yep, let's do that. I could slash the Omega. That should be a ton of damage. Eh, not as much as I thought. We can slash the Devastator. Okay. Shame I can't use Reaper two turns in a row. That would be very balanced indeed. Okay, let's just slash the Devastator. Yeah, Reaper again would come in handy. We can get a kill for Jeremy. Where is he again? Right here. He's still concealed. Can he get a, a, a flank here? Not on the Decorion. That's a bit disappointing. That is a bit disappointing. I got the rapid fire again. So I'm thinking rapid fire on the Omega. The cookies. Well, this is 100. It might not be if I move. Reloaded. Let's just reload and then take a shot. Oh yeah, right. I can reload and chain shot. Let's go with that. I need that damage from chain shot. Good one. Now Jeremy can finish off the Omega. He could use the experience as well. It would be nice to get banish on him. I would really like to get banish. What's our chance to hit from here? Okay, let's just reload and take a shot from here, in case I'll need the ammo on the next turn. Just don't miss a 95%, thanks. Got it. No compromises. He's pretty close to a promotion. 106 out of 110. He will be much more useful, promoted, and with a better weapon. Okay, let's finish this. I don't have enough. I will have to hit the Decorion. Well, I guess I don't. This will... Well, no, he has two armor. How about combat protocol? <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. Just combat protocol his ass. Works for me. We're pretty much done here. Pick up the load and kill the Devastator. Alarium core. Let's check out all the effects he has here. Uh, frozen, shattered, disoriented. Yeah, that's a pretty hard counter. That's minus 55 aim. If you can blow up the grenade he's carrying. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, looks like we are basically done. But that was a pretty nasty engagement right there. I like how at the start I said I don't want to fight half of this map at the same time and I ended up doing exactly that. Although to be fair I did get a reinforcement group at the worst possible moment. Alright, let's just get the heck out of here, shall we? Yes, let's. Let's go everyone. I can still kill a few lost before I leave, but we are definitely leaving. Okay, that's everyone. No one will cross. Overwatch won't hurt. Oh yeah, there was one more hack technically, but I'm not going back. Oh yeah, that was the run and gun one, so obviously I don't need it. I know where you are. All right. Absolutely. Uh, there's a hack here. What's this? 
yeah, blades, squad blades, we don't need that. I'm mostly checking whether it's some resources and things like that. Clearly it's not. Alright, that's that. Can I leave now? Uh, apparently not. Cookies is one tile too far away. All right. What's over there? We're green to go. Overwatch. Good get us on past. Scanning. Come on, everyone. Let's hurry up. Go, go, go. Only the best. I have sight beyond vision. Any day now. Uh, I think we should heal Bob before we leave. Uh, do I have the wound time reduction? All right, let's just heal him really quick anyway. There's no downside. I suppose I can still kill a few more lost before I properly leave. It's a little bit of experience, not some tremendous amount. Right. Yeah, that was plus one right there. So 84. The no Ready to go. go on. Okay, now we're done for real. Two experience away from a promotion for Jeremy. Alright, another time, I suppose. At least he's close. That was a pretty fun mission. Only one soldier wounded, and that was because of the Omega. As if things weren't bad enough between yeah, we the didn't get any promotions, unfortunately. Chosen, now we've got zombies to deal you only just noticed, Bradford? Superior hair trigger will be really nice. And most importantly, we got a Colonel Rank Templar. I probably won't need yet another Templar, but it's nice to have a backup. Especially in the kernel rank, you know. So where are you? Right here. Do you have Bladestorm? The most important question of all. Yes, you do. There it is. Okay. So, parry. Uh, right. Stun strike didn't seem to be working. So I guess I'll just take overcharge. A pillar can be useful sometimes. I rarely use it, but why the heck not? We can take it. I don't like channel a lot. But I also like to have deflect and reflect. So we'll take that. Arc wave. Okay, he has 54 points. Yeah, it's kind of a tough one. I would take Bionic Storm, Ghost, and Blade Storm, they are all good. But right, Ghost and the Blade Storm. And that's probably good enough. If I plan to use him regularly, I will probably pick up something like Sustain and the Deep Focus, but it's not needed. Again, he's supposed to be backup for the most part. Hey, he has the most important ability, Blade Storm. Am I right? So let's see what's coming next. We got a lot of people available. Anyone? Nope, no one needs a bond improved. No one who's currently not busy anyway. So what's next? I can't scan anything, which makes this slightly awkward. I have a ton of intel. Okay, let's wait for the next month. Oh yeah, and we're about to finish removing trades. There we go. Who has uh, really bad trades? This one was Fear of Stun Lancers, which is really bad, because there are a lot of them. Fear of Sectoids. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Fear of the Chosen will do literally nothing. A chance to take a shot immediately after going on Overwatch. Okay. That one's not the end of the world. Let's remove Fear of Sectoids from Lotharion, shall we? 
And now I can send someone to training. Oh yeah. Uh, right. Doesn't really matter who is going to be first. Okay, let's send Varazir and Ramona. That's going to be rank 3. And back to the bridge. We are researching advanced stasis suit at the moment. Priority There's the supply drop. Through, it on Let's now. check uh, dark you events. Considerable progress again. Yeah, yeah, no more chosen. Over the past month, Commander. A resistance informant again, left behind and a rapid response. Further success. Okay, left behind is literally irrelevant. Because there are no more chosen. I guess rapid response is the only one I might want to counter. Don't really care about resistance informant all that much. New facility is imminent. So I might actually go and destroy one of the facilities. Like right now. Do I need to change anything in here? No, I think we're good. We're good. There's the supply drop. Yeah, I think I might actually go and destroy one of the facilities. Let's finish that war suit. Although it's really not that important either. I don't have a facility lead. There's a facility in South America, in Australia, and that's that. So we can destroy the one in Australia. Two unknown enemies. Yeah, that could be a boss level enemy in there. That's possible. Something like the uh, Custodian Grandmaster, for example. That's possible. Oh yeah, Berserker Omega in here. And no unknown enemies now. That was a bit weird. Yeah, I think we'll do Australia. Did it just change? No, it didn't. 18 enemies. Berserker Omega, uh, some Mutons, Archon. Yeah, this doesn't sound too bad. No, this might be a proper ruler or one of the, like, Viper Princes or whatever they're called. From a mod. They kind of count as rulers, but they are not full rulers. However, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, to hack into Advent Network, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.